Hey, what's going on guys? On today's how-to, I'm going to be showing you how to install a aftermarket steering wheel on my 2004 STI. So I just bought this from a car show a couple days ago. Uh, the guy was selling it really, really cheap and I liked it. So I bought it. So it came with everything. You got the hub, the quick release, and then the steering wheel itself. So first thing we need to do is get rid of the old steering wheel. So before we get started on anything, as always, you should always disconnect your battery. And for this, we need to disconnect our fuse for the airbag. Uh, it's that one right there, and this is on the underside of your car right here, so it's going to be the top one. Now, this one is kind of different than everything else. Uh, the fuse puller that came with the car won't work, so you just have to take a pair of needle nose and pull that thing out. So to get the airbag out of the car, you need a size T30 Torx head. And then you've got a bolt right here and a bolt on the other side. Now, these screws won't come all the way out. You just have to loosen them until you know they feel pretty loose in there so for the screws right here just loosen them up and then you'll be able to pull your airbag actually all the way out now to take off all the connections back here so take something pointy and sharp and this yellow piece on the back side here will pop all the way out and take that out and then this piece for your airbag will pop out and then your connection for the ground right here will come out or the horn All right, so now that we got our air back out, we want to pull off our steering wheel. Now, the best way to do this is to take the 17 millimeter bolt right here all the way off and then put it back on just a couple of threads because you can either take it all the way off and get a steering wheel puller and actually do it the correct way, or if you're like me and don't want to run AutoZone, put the bolt back on just a little bit and then you can actually just give it a good couple of yanks and then it'll pull up against that nut. So, unless you have really good dental insurance, leave the nut on there so you can just yank it off. Now, when you go to actually pull this off, be careful for this uh, clock spring back here and leave that intact in there. Now we get to work on everything else. Alright, so it may look like a mess right now, but it's really not that big of a deal. I just kind of got everything tore apart to show you guys what you need to do to get all this piece out of here. So. On the underside of the plastic piece that goes on the bottom, you have a screw right there. Take that off and that thing will fall down. In order to get this top piece loose, you have two screws kind of tucked about halfway back. And you'll see them right there and that'll make this thing loose. And then you have four screws right in here to get this piece out. Now you don't have to cut your wires. Because I know, or I've heard of some people that, you know, cut the wires and have an issue about returning it back to stock. I have no idea what that is. But you have plugins. So disconnect your plugins, and then this thing will pop right out, and then you can just kind of trace the wires back and pull them out. So now we're on to actually putting the hub on here. Now to do this, you put it on, make sure everything's correct, the symbol energy is facing up, and hopefully you didn't move a lot on your steering to affect anything, so everything should still be straight. Now as far as the horn setup, now I read somewhere that you can get like a little brass piece that'll connect and it's basically a flexible little finger here and it'll kind of sit there and then press against this and still allow everything to move. Uh, hopefully if I find it I'll throw the part number in the description but for me right now I don't plan on having the horn anyway. I'm just trying to get this button backed up because I got a whole bunch of other stuff to do. But. Yeah, if you want a horn, there's a couple different ways I guess you can do it. Uh, as I said, I'll try to look it up and find a, way, find a way to do it. So I got everything put back together and then I got the actual quick release attached to the hub. As far as to connect the steering wheel on, there is a certain way. Obviously it has to go on there. So all you have to do is push a little bit. And then I got it perfect that time, but just turn it a little bit onto the actual quick release and it'll lock on. Take it off on the back side, right here, right here, there's a button. So push the button and then pull back, which is slightly hard to do with one hand, which is probably a good thing. There, kind of broke it loose, if you will. Anyway, it comes off really easy, I promise. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos and like and subscribe. Have a good one.